Hey there, YouTube. What I'm going to do here is give a quick review of my son's uh, 2017 uh, SSR Motorsports Laser 5 moped. You don't see these things anymore. Um, when my son is turning 15 in a month and we decided to try to find him a moped, I was looking at everything I looked at. It was an old 80s, 70s two-stroke, sitting in a barn forever, no title. Hadn't ran it forever. And I'm like, oh, I can get him to work. But then I found this. And of course you have to be iffy on Chinese quality. That's where this is made. But these little motors, these little Honda clone motors, and this motor is basically the same bolt pattern and will bolt up to, it's a clone of the old Honda XR50 CT70 motors. Uh, that were built forever and they're made in pit bikes up to high 150 60 cc's this thing's 49 and really slow but it's the same block and these things are believe it or not i believe these motors are extremely reliable and if does something does happen they're very cheap now what makes this a moped and i know in new jersey you have to have this to take your test is you need pedals that will actually pedal the bike these pedals are absolutely worthless for pedaling the bike. You go as fast as you can pedal and go about two miles an hour. They're basically like, they have the, they're, they're ridiculously geared, but they make it legal. And no one's really pedaling a moped anyway. Um, this is a four-stroke engine, not a two. As far as I know, this is the last pedal moped you could buy that was still produced. Um, now, it also has back foot pegs, which I know in New Jersey, you're not allowed to have a, pe a passenger on a moped. At least at 15 with a moped license maybe different when you're older um and actually had little highway pegs here which i made my son take off because he would ride them and as you can see with these pedals when they're down on the ground if you didn't have them placed right you could easily hit that pedal on the ground with not much of an angle on a turn as you can see there's not much there and you could lever the back end up so the first thing i did is i took those pegs off because i don't want to be using them um and that way he can adjust the pedals as he has to be going around a turn. You know, if you're going down a right turn, you put your pedal up and you have a million times ground clearance. Um, this bike has a battery. So because of that, it has electric start. It starts very easily. You have to pull the brake in, hit the button. It might be a little choke, but it fires right up. Relatively quiet. Um, this bike will go, I don't care how, how heavy you are, it is RPM limited. The, speed, the tack goes to 8,500. At 8,000 RPM, this thing shuts down. Will not go any higher. It hits a governor. That is 32 miles per hour. Everything's in kilometers, um, as you can see, but it's 32 miles per hour. You could obviously change the gears, the sprockets, but you know this thing is not pulling out on a hill very well as is. Um, you know, my son's 105 pounds and he's just turning 15 and it moves him okay. Um, you know, these are a lost art. You don't see mopeds anymore. Kids just don't drive them. Um, but this one's pretty good. Um, you know, the quality is, you know, when you get to the, the C, I mean, this is not great, but I mean, this thing has 1700 kilometers, which is just over a thousand miles. Um, the only thing I've had to do to it since I bought it, and I know the person I bought it from did nothing to it, except ride it, other than obviously change the oil, it is that the chain had stretched by 1,600 kilometers to the point where I had to change it. It was at maximum uh, adjustment. The stock chain was garbage. Um, except for that, everything, except for the, uh, the taillight bulb went out. Uh, that's it. The mirrors on it were stock, were crap. I took some old dirt bike mirrors on it. Um, it still has actually a switch to turn the headlights on and off. You have blinkers, and all that for that. You have a high beam switch, um, and it basically just works. Um, it's really not very fast. Um, if you wanted to like zip around Lake Town, you can do it. Um, I'm 220 pounds. So, obviously not the lightest, but it, it does move me around. It's got a CVT transmission, um, front and rear brakes, all the my handles automatic, um, and it just... Right, here we go, I'm going up the hill in my driveway. And it just takes a little while to get going. But 
it will, on a flat ground, has no problem getting me to 32 miles an hour. It will stay in there all day. Um, usually I'll slow it down a couple of miles, a little bit just so I'm not stressing the engine so much. Um, and, I don't know, there you go. This is what a Laser 5 moped by SSR Motorsports is. Maybe after my son gets a little older and I trust him a little more, I'll do an engine swap and grab like a 125cc engine and bolt it in, get rid of the pedals, put the foot pegs back on and, uh, you know, with, a, with like a four-speed in or a three-speed automatic and the thing will move. Um, but as it is, it just gets you where you got to go and it's relatively quiet and it's surprisingly reliable.